Jeremy Ellis here, maker of Rockseta.com. I want to talk to you about the Spark Core and the Spark Photon, the amazing microcontroller that has uh, eight digital on offs and eight analog on offs and is only 19 bucks. Google Spark Core, HPSS, JLS, GitHub. Uh, I'll put a link in the um, program. You get to my GitHub site. So let's quickly look through this. Um, I'm going to download it, see if I can. Ooh, that's not how I wanted to download it. Let's try that again. Save link as um, testing. Okay, so I'm downloading my GitHub. Quickly look through it. There's a README file. Uh, it just goes through a bunch of stuff. There's more advanced uh, how I'm trying to work with the DFU, making a batch file for Windows. Uh, it's not totally perfect yet. Little fritzing thing, there's my Spark Core. It's got a voltage divider here. You can barely see that, but that's an LED. Then there's an L, uh, LDR, LRD. Um, there's a connection. There's my plus voltage. There's my negative voltage. Let's go back. We've got a very basic web page. I'll go through that eventually. Um, uh, let's get back. We've got uh, an INO. This is what gets loaded up on Spark. Uh, we've got a useless INO. This is what I'd like to load up on Spark, but can't. Uh, I'll explain that in a bit. And then a much more advanced web page, which uses some AJAX. It's not too bad still. So very quickly here, because I don't like the quality of this. Uh, this is the basic web page, D7. Quite quickly it turns on, D7 off. That's great. Uh, D6, you're not going to see anything. D6 off. D5 read, you're not going to see anything because it's just a wire. Um, there we go. There's the AO uh, maximum. There's the AO minimum. When the AO is maximum, if I hit read, oh, I've got the stuff off, so I'll have to show you that another, another time. Um, that's basically it there. With the advanced one, I now have, let's try D7 again, down where it says processing, you've got the one. So the advanced one's a little bit better. Let's zoom out a bit more. Uh, turn D O off. Did you see that? Try it again. There. On, off. Um... AO on maximum, AO off, read. There you go, you get here. Let's try that again. There's the read when it's off. Let's try the read when it's on. There, you see it's gone down. If you change that to voltage, that's 0.68 voltage. Um, AO read again, that's 2.05 volts. volts. Now, here's a slider. If you look at the... Um, bigger LED it's sliding on off very quick to respond and this is all over Wi-Fi there we go that's all I don't like the quality of that um, just a quick show the slider does work this is a touch screen slider worked a bit better see that LED the one right there is going on off uh, you can do intermediate values see how it's slowly getting brighter Slider was a pain to figure out. There we go. The only problem with this is it uses up your four functions. So what I've done is I've thrown together, I've kind of taken Tinker, made more advanced, but only one function a main function. That allows you to have three more other functions, maybe to control servos or whatever you want. Um, I've brought the brightness down just for the heck of it. Uh, okay, so the main function, it forces everything to capital letters. You know, look, it's very similar to Tinker, but it's all in one function and it's taking in a parameters turn AO off would be AO dash send dash zero. AO dash send two five five would be maximum. And 
So here it has all the working for the um, a digital, and here it's reading it, and then over here it's doing the analog. And you could throw in a, a servo one. Um, the only nice thing here, I don't like how ad ad advanced this is, but it's one function. So now you at least can do three more functions. So, I now have my values in. I'm not going to show them because it's sensitive information. But every time I reload the page, it reloads and hides them. I'm going to show the output. And I can enter any function name here. And I can choose something to send. So the main information is there. And I can send it. And that's interesting. Um, let's try this. Okay. There we go. So let's try that again. There we go. So send when it's on, it goes one, it shows a one. When it's off, it shows a zero. That's D7. D6 shows a 1, but we don't actually see anything because it's just a cable ho hooking up D6 and D5. Let's just uh, clear that out again. And now let's read D5. shows a 1 because it's reading high. Um, set D6 to 0. And read D5 shows a 0. Sending 255 lights it up. Sending a 0 sets it to 0. And read shows me the reading. It's between 0 and 4,000. Uh, if I set AO to 0, it does one reading. If I set it to lit, it does another reading. I'll show that again in a bit. This is it. It's local storage, a typical web page form, a bunch of buttons that are just... Watch this. It's just changing the parameters. Uh, it's always say, sending to the same function. And here's an iframe showing you what gets back. And hopefully I've deleted out that part. That's the easy web page. So let's show the more advanced one. I open the page up. Now this isn't online. This is on my computer. But it's just the same online because you're hiding the sensitive information. Now this one's using JSON and AJAX. So you'll notice the form. I've also got it bigger. This is so I can make apps using PhoneGap. Um, this one, there's my one for it sending. There's the zero. I've got a slider here that oh, when I move off the slider, it sets the um, uh, LED. Uh, here I can set the LED. that, And I'll show this, this more with... Um, the actual Spark Core. This one, oh, it also has, it converts that into a voltage. Um, kind of handy to show it's a low voltage when the light isn't on. Um, it's a high voltage there. Okay, look at this massive mess here. We've got our 10k ohm resistor voltage divider going from positive, the red strip, to a 1, which is going to be our reading one. Let's get in there, A1. Okay. We also have the LDR going from ground to A1. That's creating some voltage divider. Here we have our LED going from ground straight to AO. Hopefully you can see that there. And that's the setup of the analog um, read at A1 and write at AO. 
I'll just scoot around here. Reminder, I'm just testing. Just testing. Well, on this side, digital, read, write. On that side, analog, read, write. Um, there's the slider going from full off to full on, things like that.